where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? I feel like nowadays, especially because his Yeet album just dropped, and I'm not like into all that, but like niggas is going crazy for it. They saying some more like the futuristic sounds. I feel like niggas really just listen to beats for for the beats. Like that mm. art of like trying to be the best lyricist or anything mm. like that. Saying stuff with your words. It, it's, it's a select artist you go into for that. But like I would the say, feel though, I don't, I don't know why. I would say though. major labels and systemic racism. Are you say that? Um, yeah, bro. It's it's, it's it's if you pay attention, it's really that. It's it's major labels and systemic racism. Like they trying to keep us dumb type shit. Yeah, bro. That's literally that's li- that's literally exactly what it is, bro. Like motherfucking programming, bro. bro throughout the whole 20, 2000s, 2010s, like oh, no disrespect it. to like the southern rap. You feel what I'm saying? But like southern like rap, the radio was literally just like. Like glorifying selling drugs, bro. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like just literally glorifying that lifestyle. You feel me? Like fun well, fact. Back to the whole little brother shit. When Mitchell Show dropped, and one of the singles, Loving It, dropped. They had a music video for that shit, and they pitched it to BET, and them niggas was like, "Oh, we cannot drop this because it's too intellectual. We, we're not, we're not doing that." Yeah. And them, and them niggas didn't even, they didn't even. <laughs> yeah, where all the, where the bling at, nigga? What the fuck? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Why the titties? Backpack rap. No bullshit. Saying, like, you feel me? Or they like they try to shelf niggas. They niggas try to say like they that try was to shelf niggas to say shit. yeah, boom bap, mm. or like oh he's old school or some shit like that. And it's like yo, bro, like nah, like we can just we actually. Can talented, actually. You feel me? I fuck with trap though. Like not even for me to. I'm, I'm not bashing any style of music. You feel me? But I'm not bashing nobody's lifestyle either. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like I get it. You feel what I'm saying? Like. You got to do what you got to do. You feel me? But, like, when you have, it's like when you have, it's like the news, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you when you give them one motherfucker, a group of motherfuckers the keys to, like, control what everybody's consuming all the time, you know what I'm saying? And you, and you, and you're, and now you're focused on just the money behind it. Like, what makes the most money? Uh, like, it's, it's almost like, it's literally just like doing what you got to do in the street, but in the music industry. Like, niggas is trying to create the highest, Dollar per share, like motherfuckers just trying to maximize their stock value, and like it just it's, exactly it just so happened to be like all the fuck shit that was going, like all the shit, all the fuck shit that goes on in every hood in America. You know what I'm saying? That ends up selling. You feel me? And like it just so happened so that like that 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 kind of music like fuels more of that activity to happen, and like it's just like a circle. Yeah, it's just a reinforcing loop, bro. Like. I don't think it's nobody's fault but the people who are in control of what goes on the radio or the type of artists that they put these big ass marketing budgets behind. You feel me? Like what you I, also, say, I also think like, you know, when you think about everything in a business manner, it allows you to like kind of see the silver lining in everything, right? So like if I have an artist who is easier to control, right? Rather than another artist who is a little bit more intellectual, right? I was about to say, what do you mean by easy to control? Probably just like so ignorant. They, ignorant they, they're not as experienced. Exactly. Someone right? you take if, if I'm a business, a nigga out the hood who think, don't got much to think, his name, think, you feel think me? You as a, 20 bands and uh, then control uh, their whole think, life type of shit. Think as a businessman, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Switch your mind up from artist to businessman. What makes more sense for you, right? If I can utilize this artist in a way where, you know, they can do whatever they want, but I'm getting most of the the get back right the return. the return in it i'm going to try and do this multiple times so i can get my return on my investment and you know what i'm saying so that idea actually it's kind of it's kind of not working as well right now you know what i'm saying yeah we mentioned yeet and everything like that i mean he but he has a he has a, a crowd young kids love that type of shit what sure. young kid doesn't like candy you know what I'm saying? Like, and as you grow up, you start to realize how many things are actually candid. And then as you grow up, you kind of be like, damn, I need some vegetables. You know what I mean? But a lot of people, when they're coming up, they enjoy things that aren't as good for them. That's why hip hop, hip hop in its in its source and essence is a rebellious culture, right? Every rebellious culture is the new thing. You know what I mean? As long as it's rebellious, rock and roll, think about it. Jazz, when jazz came out, motherfuckers was jacking jazz. Louis Armstrong was like, yo, what y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, like this ain't this ain't how you play music. So, like, whatever is rebellious is going to be, that's what, you think sexy red? 
You know what I'm saying? Like sexy. You think that's part of the programming? It's just rebellious. No, and whatever is rebellious. You know what I'm saying? And part of the program. You're not it's, supposed to say it. Wait, there's no, multiple yeah. truths. There's multiple truths on no, multiple levels. We, we like people getting their money, exactly. but we, we know what Exactly. That's on. why he said, he was like, I still like trap. It's multiple truths on multiple levels. No, no more should we think like, and things always happen to negate each other. Yeah. It's like, no, that's a truth. And then that's also a truth. True, yeah. Which truth is a little bit higher? What should we value more? And right. I think that's my issue. It's just that the balance is tipped off. It doesn't mean that there's not space for everybody to exactly. exist. You feel me? It just feels like this is what's being stuffed down our throats. So I, I and and to and to go on top of that, my not fault, to, my fault. Yeah, yeah, that, that was too, pause. Bro. That was a pause. Another fifty dollars. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a but draw, and to go on top of that, we also have to realize how much technology technology affects the way that people make music mm. and the tools that are at hand. And then what is being presented to these young cats? I was just talking to. Who was talking to? I forgot. But I'm a teacher. So, like, yeah, yeah, we're talking about, like, fundamentals, bro. Like, the kids the kids don't listen to Jada Kids. They don't listen. They don't know what what counting bars. They don't know what bars are. You feel me? So, it's just like, yo, wait. All they know the is The gap punching. is only yeah. getting bigger, y'all. Because the technology's not not pushing them to go learn. And it's, they're trying to make us lose the knowledge. Yeah, they, like, it's, 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 it's actually between. getting bigger. So, it's like, yo, we really got to start thinking. And that's why we love... And Bell, people like Najee, and people like all the other artists that are here, because it's like that's why also Massachusetts is gonna win, and New England is going to win because we have not only do we have a classic style of, with us, but we also can break things down, and we're the only region that hasn't popped yet, and we could do anything that is on the plate. You want some trap shit? Oh, we can go over here. Go listen to ghost. Go, go listen to yeah, yeah. You want to go listen to somebody else that's do, that does and uh, it's evolving still. Uh, it's Afro beats better. or anything. Yep. It's only getting better, it's bro. Getting so better, it's just bro. like I've been in some sessions recently with some people. For sure. Yes, exactly, exactly. I agree. And I, and I wanted to you and I and I want to touch on something you were saying. Like it's getting tougher. You feel me? It's yeah. getting tougher for like it's getting tougher for you to like make like play in our face type shit. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Like the fact that we like to touch on your point of technology, right? The technology that they put like the way they're using it, they're like it's the it's it's placed in a way where like for you to get dumber. But if you use it the right way, you can be fucking I agree. brilliant. Bro. If you just doom scrolling you know through TikTok and shit Real like shit. that, that's how you that's that's a waste. And even to the and even to but another you, point yeah. you were saying, like with um with like People not listening to Jada Kiss and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like the fucking um, like motherfuckers who the motherfuckers who are like taking the time to like educate themselves, like artists that are actually taking the time to educate themselves and really like there's resources feed there. on that. Yeah. Yo, you getting incredible young artists like niggas in the city like Jaciel, you know, like yes. Nate Speaks, like people you from like Evie, yeah, like David Evie, Dong. King David, like bro, like they're young and they're like bro. Brilliant, like you feel so what there I'm is saying? hope. Like, there is hope for sure, bro. There, there is hope. I think, I think there's more hope though for they, those who have, because there's kids who don't got the proper guidance or resources to let them know what's real or what's fake. So if they like naturally gravitate to something that's not real, in my in their mind it might be real because they don't know anything else or anything better. They weren't exposed to anything more than that. So kids like King David, he got a Najee in his life that he can rely on it and look up to and shit. I think we need more artists like who are gonna speak on that shit to, to have these kids look up to. Sure. I mean, so we can create more of that balance and shit like that. That's you know the man? scariest shit because I feel like that's gonna be the struggle that this next, next generation is gonna have to deal with. And we all gonna have to deal with type shit when it comes to what's real versus discerning what's fake. Especially when you everybody on social media, you following the people you like to follow, so you create your own echo chamber. But then you see all this technology about like, yo, you, let's live in virtual reality. You can live the, you can be in the reality you want to. Or niggas is creating uh fake pictures, fake, y'all y'all seen the shit that they, they creating 8K fake videos that you could just like type and just be like, this is what I wanted to be doing. This is what it could do. And then it, it spits that shit, that shit out. Yep. That shit's not getting crazy. Like eventually, you, like you can't even believe anything you see on the internet. You shouldn't Ooh, have shit. before, but like even more Pictures now, like a thousand lies, nigga. You'll you'll oh, see geez. ESPN start quoting like ball sack sports and shit, and you'll be like, damn, not even the reputable sources like I could go but to. But see, that's why like now I feel like like for you to be a successful artist in like this day and age, you kind of have to wear an entrepreneurship hat. And part of being an awesome. entrepreneur is knowing 
is 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 like doing your research and knowing where to get your research from. You feel what I'm saying? And like actually like going and find out for your finding like finding shit out for yourself rather than just like listening to the internet all the all the time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like for me, like yo, one thing that I really fuck with about artists is like, like, like I, I could tell how serious you are if you walk into a session, you got your own hard drive. You walk into mm. a session and you got a place where you feel what I'm saying. Like you're like yo, um, yo, knock out all the show mixes right now, or yo, bro, even a plan in the studio. Like walking in with a plan. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's no longer the fact that some like the the the, the barriers to entry are so fucking low now. You feel what I'm saying? Like based on economics, you feel me? Like your anybody can get a disco Your knowledge kid. now is what makes focus, you. Right, it's no longer who you know anymore. You feel what I'm saying? It's back to what you know. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because what you know is gonna bring motherfuckers who who you should know around you. Type mm-hmm. shit. And that's you know and that, like, and that's why shit. I feel like it's gonna get back to creating and everyone getting back to what it is that but they want to the do outside of what they see people doing and creating. I can feel it in my soul. This is everything I need. I gotta get it on my own. Blessings falling in my feet. Got me wishing on a star. Following my dreams. I can see that bright light shine every single time. This is everything I need. Yeah. This is everything I saw. Understand. There's some things you can't.